In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a group product. In the past, I've been asked quite a number of times what the point of a group product is, um, because you can easily achieve the same goal with a configurable product. Basically, it's just a way of displaying multiple simple products on one page at the same time in a way where you can buy multiple versions of that simple product at once. The simple products don't have to have any attributes in common. So for example, like on a configurable product, they have to have common attributes in order for them to be selectable by the, um, by the customer. But in this case, a, a group product could have 10 completely different products, simple products showing on there on the front end and still make perfect sense technically. So what I've done in this example, I'm going to create a cutlery set as the group product. And the simple products are knives, forks, and spoons. Simple as that. There's no special attributes I need to create for this, so I've not created any new attributes, but I have created a new attribute set called cutlery. So if I go to manage products and then add product, I'm going to choose my new cutlery attribute set, and I'm going to start creating the simple products that we're going to use on our group product. So I'm going to click continue. And to start with, I'm going to make the knife. I'm going to have it as enabled and not visible individually. Because I don't want this product to be visible anywhere else in the site apart from the group product page. And let's set a price so these knives are two pounds each don't need to set an image don't need to do meta information and I'm going to go down to inventory and have 89 of those in stock so it's in stock so I don't need to do anything else I'm happy with that so I'm going to click save and continue Okay, now I'm going to do the same exact thing, but create the spoon and the fork. Forks are going to be two pound fifty just to be controversial. <clears throat> no images needed. The only thing we need to do now is set the inventory. I'm going to have quite a number of those in stock. Okay, so I'm going to click save and continue on that one as well. And finally, I'm going to create the spoon. So I'm going to duplicate this product again. And then I'm spot spoon. Okay. Spoons will be two pounds again. Set them as in stock. And then I'm going to click save. So there we go. We've got our standard steel spoon, fork, and knife. Three simple products ready to go on our group product. So let's get on with making our group product. We'll click add product in the top right. Choose the cutlery attribute set. And we'll choose group product from the list. Just so you know, cutlery attribute set is actually exactly the same as the default set. I just created this to make it clear what attribute set these products belong to. it to enable and this time visibility catalog search so it can be found in the catalog and it can be searched for 
Okay, the next tab you'll like to see is the prices one. And it's nice and simple as that. No price information needed because we're only buying the simple products. We're not buying the group product as a whole. Meta information, good idea to fill this information in. Um, I'm going to leave this blank this time. Images. Got one image to use for this. There we go. Didn't do the teaspoon, but maybe perhaps the sold out. I'm going to exclude it from the gallery this time because there's only one image. In the inventory, all we can do is set it to in stock or out of stock, similar to a configurable product. So I'm going to set it to in stock. I'm going to put it into my new category, one that I made earlier. You watch that. And finally, associated products. So this is the bit where we bring our simple products onto the group product model that we've created. So what you have to do is just tick them along and then click save. One thing you can do over here actually, is you can put a default quantity in. So say by default we want there to be two spoons included with this pack. And then we can also order them here as well. So we want our knife first, then our fork, then our spoon. I'm going to click save again. If we go to the front end of the site, go to our new category. There's our cutlery set. There we go. You can see the spoon. It's got two pre-filled for you. And they've been ordered the way we want. So it's quite a simple case now of adding as many of these products as we want to our cart in one go. So let's say actually you'd only you get even numbers of cutlery, wouldn't you? So we want six of each. Add it to the cart, then you'll realise what they've actually done is they've all gone in as separate simple products rather than as the configurable product went in as one product with options. This time they've gone in as separate products. With the same image. And that's it, that's a very basic group product.